Bill O'Reilly has some uh, surprising thoughts for Donald Trump here. This came out of left field. Check it out. Finally, President-elect Trump should accept the Paris Treaty on Climate to buy some goodwill overseas. It doesn't really amount to much anyway. Let it go. What's going on? <laughs> Did I just agree with Bill O'Reilly? What? Well, look, uh, every now and then, as my dad used to say, even a blind squirrel finds an acorn from time to time. Or as many other people have said, um, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Well, that's Bill O'Reilly on this one. You know, he said stuff similar things like this in the past where you go, whoa, 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 where'd that come from? I, I don't know what just happened. That seems to be actually totally reasonable. Uh, well, there it is. He's like, yeah, you know, climate change, pollution. I guess it could kind of be bad, maybe. So I yeah, just accept it. Except, but it's funny how even when he's right, he's a little bit wrong. Because he frames it as like, ah, it's not much cause anyway. Just whatever, just do it. As opposed to like, no, seriously, we need this and we gotta go further because climate change is coming and good googly moogly is gonna fuck us up. So, but hey, look, I'll take an agreement where I can get it. And here's the, the upside of this story and actually why I'm even bothering to do this story. Donald Trump and Bill O'Reilly are friends. Like, they're friends' friends. Like, you know, they went go to basketball games. Before Trump even ran for president, they went to basketball games together. Like, they're buddies. So, um, for the first time ever, and probably the last time ever, you're going to hear me say, God, I wish the president listens to Bill O'Reilly. Because <laughs> I hope Bill O'Reilly calls him up and he's like, look, you know how Bill, Bill talks. He's somehow more arrogant than even I am. He's like, look. This is what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to accept the, the, the climate treaty. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. It's good. Why not? Go for it. Come on, Bill. Come on. I need you to out-alpha male Donald Trump in that conversation you have with him on the phone and convince his ass that this is the right thing to do. The fucking future of the planet may depend on Bill O'Reilly talking to Donald Trump and convincing him, don't pull out of it. Don't pull out of it. What a scary thought. The future of the planet might be in Bill O'Reilly's hands. And we're fucking rooting for him. Come on, Bill! Convince him! Come on!